using a pap editor now uh, i am just going to open a pap editor using transaction sc38 now i need to give the name here so in my case i am giving here the exception one name to my program and then click on the create button now giving here the title of the program this is our exception program so i have given the title exception program and the type is executable program and then click on the save button and then select the package in my case is temporary package now if you want to get the values from the user so we use the parameter statement so i am using here the parameters pa underscore number one then i am using type c and then length is 10 and default value i am assigning here so in my case the default value i am assigning is abc now another number i am taking here suppose this is pa underscore number two and then type is again c and this is our length so in my case again the length is 10 and default value i'm assigning is nine 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 so i have assigning the value here now we need to take another variable and uh, in my case i am giving gv underscore number one and the type i am taking here is integer i another number i am taking here gv underscore number two i am taking so many data members data variables so that data object so that we can test it through many options so gv underscore result and then type i am taking the type is here decimal plot 34 now using the statement start of selection now for the exceptions we need to use a try block so i have taken the try and try is always ended with the end try if any exception raised by a program so it is catch by the catch statement now gv underscore number one i am assigning value pa underscore number one similarly i am assigning here gv underscore number two equal to pa underscore number two now in this case gv underscore result equal to gv underscore number one divided by so i am applying here the division operation gv underscore number two now i am going to write the result so i need to use here the right statement so write then result is gv underscore result now we need to use a cache statement so if any exception occurs during execution of these statements during execution of these statements that must be cached by the cache statement so in this case in this sketch i am giving a predefined class cx sy underscore converge conversion number conversion to number so this is our conversion underscore number now giving a write statement so that it can write a message onto the screen it can display the message onto the screen so i am using here a message not an integer similarly i can also use the multiple cache statement so in this case i am using another class cx underscore sy underscore conversion conversion underscore overflow 
then writing the statement this is our right colon and uh, using this message number too large then another catch statement this is catch so if uh, we divide a number by zero so it should catch the exception and the exception object or class is cx underscore sy underscore zero divide so this is also a predefined class that you can use now uh, division is not possible not possible so by this way now click on the save button and then check for the syntax use the pretty printer and then activate it and then execute the program so you can see we have default value we have assigned a b c and this one when we will execute it it will automatically catching the exception not an integer now suppose if you want to give um, number here suppose we can change the number here in the conversion flow we can also give so we can also give the another input like this one so you can see it is calculating the result it is okay now suppose this is 2 and this is our 0 then it will call the exception division is not possible so it is throwing an exception which is catch by the cx underscore sy underscore zero divide exception so this was an example of an exception program so thank you so much for watching my videos if you really like my videos please subscribe to my channel